Good morning, welcome to Be Fit for Christ. Jane Dela Cruz here. We're doing tummy testimony. It's a six month, every day, 500 crunches, learning 25 scriptures and three Psalms. Today we'll be doing Psalm 91 again. I only know about half of it, but I'm getting there. So um, it's day 35 and I'm so happy you joined me. I wanna uh, talk with you about in spirit and truth. This really transformed me in my life. It says in John 4, 24, God is spirit. Those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. God sees us as spirit too. We are perfect in the spirit. So in John 4, 23, it says true worship, uh, true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. To genuinely praise and honor the Lord, we must first know the truth about him. Worship is a response to who God is. And what he does so it's essential to know what he is revealing about himself in his word otherwise we'll be in the same boat as the samaritan woman uh, by the well jesus said to her you worship what you do not know the scriptures clearly teach us about god's attributes uh, the history of his interactions with humanity and how we're to approach him when we know what the bible says we are able to praise him according to the truth. So please get in his word and get to know your father who so loves you. And you will be able to be encouraged and understand how to worship him in spirit and truth. Let's pray real quick and then we'll get started. Heavenly Father, we love and worship you for all that you have done for us. And Lord, we long to worship you in spirit and truth. Just as you told the woman at the well, we want to surrender to you completely to present ourselves a living sacrifice before you each day. Thank you for the many blessings and benefits you have bestowed upon us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, I am so glad you joined us. We are going to today do our original crunches, so let's get started. My body, woo, it's getting uh, better. We are getting abs of steel. Yes, I hope you're feeling a difference. I hope you're doing, even if it's, you know, not my class, that you're doing crunches and sit-ups every day. Uh, your core, it is so important to keep nice and strong. It helps your back. It helps your alignment with your whole body. The, the core area is so important to keep in shape. So I am happy that if you're doing it with me, let's go. <laughs> Abs of steel, here we come. We're going all the way through June 30th. That'll be our last day. And then I'm going to start a new uh, Be Fit for Christ. It'll be uh, worship music and body toning. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm hoping that you will uh, want to join me for that as well. So let's start with um, our core scripture, which is 1 Corinthians uh, 6, 19 and 20. Or do not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom is from God, and you are not your own, but were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, because they're God's. And just remember... We're a third spirit, and that spirit is perfect, not because of what we do or don't do, but because of what Jesus did on the cross for us. We are, the, we are righteous, not in self-righteousness, but in His righteousness. So, to the Father, our spirit is perfect, but it's our body and our minds, our soul, that needs to be renewed every day. Whole five, four, three. Two, one, we war against our flesh and our feelings and our thoughts. And so we want to just keep renewing um, in what God thinks and, um, and walk by the Spirit and not by our natural flesh, which is, you know, the five senses. Taste, smell, hear, see, right? All those feel. Those senses, well, we have a sixth sense. If you're a Christian, and you must be born again. <laughs> I will say that over and over and over. People say, I'm a Christian, but not born again. Well, then you're not a Christian. <laughs> Christ followers are born again. That means they're born of the Spirit. 
which is his spirit. Yes, and it, you can tell the difference. Okay, so uh, that is our core scripture for Beef and for Christ. Hold, two, three, four, five. We've got 100 already. Good job. We're going to do 50 up here. Let's go. And I'm going to go through our last four scriptures. And the uh, first one is Galatians 2.20. And it is, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live in the faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. That's a very powerful, powerful scripture. And I hope you're learning all of these, all 25. I am going to add a few more once I feel like I know all um, 25. I still am kind of a little iffy on some of these, but I know most of them. Okay, keep going. You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep on going. Okay, our next scripture is a very important one for our children. Well, no, I'm sorry. This, this one is John 10.10. 10. And it says, The thief does not come except to kill, steal, and destroy. But I have come, come to give you life and life more abundantly. Okay, let's just quit. Keep our legs up. And we will be at 200 once we're done with these. And our next one, this one is about our children. It is so important to not just take them to church, but to teach them in the home how to pray, how to worship the Lord, how to read the scripture and study the Bible. Just like in school, all the things that are important for them to, come to learn, reading and writing, well, actually this is the most important thing for you to expose your children to. So, this scripture, this says Isaiah 54, 13, all your children will be taught of the Lord, and great will be the peace of, their ch of your children. Yep, God, what do you really know about God? They have more joy, a lot more joy. They can live in peace, and they know love. They know they learn love through Jesus. Jesus is love. God is love. Okay, our next scripture, our final scripture, is Luke 6.38. It says, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure. Press down, shaken together, and run it over into your bosom. For with the same measure that you give, will be measured back to you. Hmm, I love that. It's a beautiful scripture. Okay, hold. Here we go. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. So, Jack. Okay, we've got 50 more, and then get ready to do the play. And even if you want to get out your Bibles, I'm happy if you get your Bibles out and turn to Psalm 91. I think it's really, really important for us to know. Okay, we're just going to come in and go out. And we're 25, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, it's hurt. Six, seven, come on now, eight, breathe, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, good job, three, thirteen, keep going, fourteen, keep it good, fifteen, now one leg, one leg, same leg for five. Another leg for five. And we have 25 more. And we are going to get ready to do the Russian twist. Get 25 and then get to the plate. After that, we're going to do mountain climbers and mountain twists. Okay, ready? Here we go. Keep 
Keep going. Breathe. Good job. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. We're halfway there. Okay, I hope you can remember the last line. We'll see. Here we go. It is he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Whew. He shall, he, he shall surely deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and he shall rescue you from the snare of the fowler, and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth is a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies at noon, nor at the, of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lies waste at noonday. I think that's what it is. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand may fall at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the rewards of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my God. My refuge, um, even in the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, and nor plague shall come your way. He shall give, um, what is it? He shall give something over you with his angels. Oh, ah, sorry, I couldn't hold that any longer. Oh my gosh, that was really hard. All right, let's do little swimmers. Oh, I think of that line. I can't remember it. 50 little swimmers. Here we go. Oh, he shall give charge uh, with his angels over you. That's what I think it is. Keep going. Whew. And we're going to do the mountain climbing after this. Okay. We'll be at 350 already. And then we'll be done. Keep going. Ten more. Whew. Great job. Okay, up. Ready to go. 50. Let's go. You can do it. Push it. That's 10. Come on. Give it to me. You can do it. 20. 25. We're halfway there. Let's go. That's 30. 35, honey. That's 45. Good job. And twist. 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 Oh. Probably should wear my hair up. Can't see a thing. Come on, keep going though. It's okay. Whew. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. We're halfway there. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, okay, I don't know about you, but that really had my heart rate up. Okay, real quick, 25 more Russian twists. And here we go, we're done. Let's push it fast. Here we go, five more, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, day 35 complete. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for joining me. Oh, it's so good to see you here. I hope you're... Also, like after this, going to do some walking or running or treadmill, anything, bicycling, pick your flavor. <laughs> but get your heart rate up to 15 to 30 minutes and really work that heart rate up, okay? All right, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. 
I wish you peace. It's Jane Dela Cruz. Day 35 done. Join me tomorrow.